What's good? It's Project Pat, and we're going to be talking about Polygon Matic price predictions today. If you are interested in buying Polygon, you are in it for the long run, okay? The long-term play, the long haul, the LTP, okay? You have to understand, if you're looking at Polygon right now, Polygon just went down from the 30-day, okay? So it's moving, and it's moving in the direction as cryptocurrency is all the way from a dollar seventy almost all the way down to a dollar and three cents at this time. The all time high of it was just about back in May and it got all the way up to two dollars and sixty two cents. OK, if you look back about two years ago when it wasn't really when it was just a little fledgling. OK, even all the way back as far as let me go back to the 180 day back in January. OK, it was sitting at a dollar and three cents when it came out. This is all time low is when it came out at about point zero zero three cents. So you can see it's been moving. All right. And there's a long way to go. We're. Have, you have to understand Polygon is a long-term play, okay? The 30 days, it went from $1.60 down to $1.05. And this year alone, like I said, the all-time high was at $1.62. The reason this is important is because Polygon could pull back further. Analysts say it could go back to $0.80. Cents. Some analysts speculate be ready for it to pull back all the way to $0.40, cents, okay? For those of you that don't know what Polygon is, all right? Polygon um, is a protocol and a framework for building, connecting Ethereum compatible blockchain networks, okay? Aggregating scalable solutions on Ethereum support and a multi-chain Ethereum ecosystem, okay? Keep in mind in January, 2021, all right? Like I said, it was down to a, a cent. So thinking about this, this is why I tell you Polygon is a long-term play. Polygon is not a short-term play. You may very well lose your money if you are looking to sell in a year up front. okay? So upfront being realistic, okay? If you're trying to sell in one year with Polygon, it might bite you in the butt, okay? Let me know in the comments below what you think uh, the price point for Polygon will be in December 2021, okay, in a couple months. Bitcoin and Ethereum could um, pull back, okay, and then Polygon will have to pull with it, all right? If you look at a price chart of Polygon, we're on the 24-hour, it moves with Ethereum, Okay, really hard. It also moves with Bitcoin really hard. Looking at the seven day now, it's more along the same scale. The whole market moves with Bitcoin and Polygon and Ethereum are basically like a 99% price correlation. Dollar cost average into Polygon. If you get paid on a Friday, all right, and you want to invest $100, you can do it a few different ways. Each time you get a payday, you can just put $100 in dollar cost average. First Friday of the month, 100. Next Friday of the month, another 100. Next Friday of the month, the next 100, okay? If you get paid like that. If this is the money that you have that you're comfortable keeping into Polygon for at least five years, for like 2025, 2026 play, okay? Or you can keep that 100 out, okay? Wait for the dips. Maybe you buy $20 worth of Polygon right now, sitting at $1.03. Wait till it goes back 2%. If it pulls back 2% and it goes under a dollar, buy a little bit, another $20, okay? If it dips again and it goes down, let's say, another 5%. So if it's down 5% and now you're down under a dollar, closer to 90 to 95 cents, you put in another uh, $20, okay? Then if it pulls back 10%, closer to 80 cents, maybe even uh, 20% pullback, you throw the rest of your money in for that week's 100 that you got paid that you had to invest, which will help you keep stacking more Satoshis. CoinPriceForecast.com has Polygon uh, price prediction sitting at $3.40. 47 cents a year from now in December of 2022. Remember, it's at a dollar right now and it could dip in the near future. So if this hundred dollars is the difference between you uh, investing in Polygon in your gas money or you investing in Polygon and a bill to pay, that's not what you should be doing, okay? 
only invest money that you can afford to lose, okay? Walletinvestor.com has it sitting at a price point one year from now at $4.85. So there is speculation that Matic is going to move up when Bitcoin moves up, when Ethereum moves up, okay? It's going to move with the market. Money will flow back in and people will start to see it. But what you can do right now is help set yourself up for those gains and for those wins, to be successful so that you can start to see some return on your investments, okay? Some analysts have Polygon reaching. Now, this is the far-fetched ones, $16 price point by the year 2030, okay? It can jump that high is what some speculate. Now, remember, when it's a mature platform, okay, and the world has started to fully further adopt cryptocurrency okay that is a 10-year goal okay you shouldn't be investing thinking 16 dollars price point and polygon is going to come next week okay that's unrealistic dollar cost average in four years ago for me i was sitting at staring at chain link at 17 cents if i had bought chain link and invested into chain link at 17 cents like i had been kicking myself for i would have had a return if i put a hundred dollars in i would have nine thousand five hundred dollars right now sitting in an account for chain link it's just like those things can happen all right you just have to make sure you understand what you're trying to do i used to invest in uh things in 2017 and so for me going forward, I'm trying to help you understand what I was doing back then. You need to start thinking like this to doing it in the future. Polygon's valuation is nearly 10 times its current price long term. Okay. The poly Polygon network is set up like this. All right. Just so you guys can start to understand. All right. The network on their website, Polygon's main, uh, main network, okay? The market cap is sitting at $6 billion right now, over $6 billion, okay? There's over 660,000 wallet addresses that have been activated on the Polygon main network, okay? That's through MetaMasks and different op ideas, all right? The amount of Polygon staked, okay? It's, it's a pretty steep number, over $1 um, billion, almost $2 billion in Matic have been staked, okay? And this is the area where they're really leading, okay? The dApps, okay? The applications that are decentralized, okay? Using Polygon's network is very impressive right now. The main, one of the main reasons why people love Polygon so much is the fees are so low. Look at these fees. Ethereum, okay? If you just want to do an ETH transfer, it's in the ballpark of a dollar. Okay, it's 75 cents right now. If you wanted to do open seas registry, okay. Now this this chart changes almost every day. I was looking at this chart the other day, doing my homework and making sure I felt comfortable to make this video for you. And that open seas registry at the time was sitting at forty dollars. So this stuff fluctuates. Same thing with polygons fees fluctuate. How how much is it right now? It's sitting at two cents. So the fees are always changing, but you just have to make sure that you know what's going on and why polygon is so is such a nice thing to work with okay the technology behind polygon all right understand polygon provides the core components of tools to join the borderless ecosystem in society with polygon any project can easily spin a dedicated blockchain network which combines the best features of in the standalone blockchains okay sovereignty scalability flexibility all good reasons and ethereum security and operability and developer experience additionally these blockchains are compatible with the existing ethereum tools like metamask like we just talked about my crypto and remix in different uh, wallets that are out there and can exchange uh, messages among themselves with Ethereum. Okay, Polygon, Polygon technology is, a material, is materialized through two major components, the Polygon fra framework and the Polygon protocol. Framework is one-click uh, deployment of Ethereum-compatible blockchains, growing sets of modules, okay, understanding different things that it's working with, like staking, governance, pluggables, uh, consensus, and much more developers want to build their custom blockchains protocols arbitrary messaging passaging but passing between any two participants in polygon chains as well as between polygon chains and ethereum security as a service not mandatory modular securities prove uh provide ethereum directly or by a dedicated set of validators okay polygon chains right now what's out there is their matic plasma okay and they're also their proof of stake 
mistake. They're also working on their side chains, their enterprise, and then a couple different roll-ups, okay? So those things are what it's working on. The main thing, okay, that is interesting, I want to show you the dApps real quick. So if you if you look at what the use cases of Polygon are, you got Polygon's wallet, you got their bridge, you got uh, their staking. We'll take a look at staking in a second and their dApps, all right? The dApps that we're talking about, you've probably heard a couple of these. You've got like Ave, Polymarket, Curve Finance, Quick Swap, One Inch, uh, Sushi Swap, and then you've got di a couple different ones. Okay, realistically, we're gonna go to NFTs and gaming real quick, and you've got Atari work, excuse me, working with them. Open Seas, you've probably heard of, Decentraland. And then there's a bunch of different games that are being uh, built on here. Okay, you can always go take a look. Some of them are in the very early stages. Other others are up and running. There's videos, different ones on YouTube. Let me know if you have clicked on this video and you are very much in love with Polygon and you use some of these. Tell me because I I'd like to learn and know what you wanna or what you think about these. Okay, so as we're going forward, all right, the staking. Of of polygon polygon staking okay realistically okay what's your fear with staking okay or what's your fear with using different things all right the big fear is sending your money and waiting for it that's the biggest fear in any crypto okay it's when you hit that send button and you are waiting you're worried whether it went through so to make sure you help yourself with that be careful and the way to be careful is send a small amount OK, allow yourself to sm make a small transaction on your first try and then see if it went through. If it goes through, send the bulk of your money the way you just did. Always double check your copy paste is correct. Always double check that you're not hitting control V and then slipping up and hitting uh, V next to it as you pull it away. Because anything like that can always um, like uh, send it to a false address and then your money's gone. That's the big problem with uh, cryptocurrency. And there's that's also one of the reasons why cryptocurrency is what it is right now, is that fear of that transaction. If I mess up the address, I'm not gonna get uh, my money back. So you have to be careful with that. But right now, okay, you can stake on the Polygon network. Okay, so if we go right here to reward calculator, all right, realistically, they're paying you at about a 14% rate, okay, which is one of the rates, the highest rates you could find. Celsius Network used to pay you at a 14% rate. They sit at about a 10% rate right now, and that's where I'm holding my Polygon. I'm thinking about moving it over to the main network. It's just like I said, the, the thing that's uh, tough is the fear of sending transactions to uh, something you haven't used yet and it not going the way you want. If you want to see me do a video on um, how to stake your Polygon on the Polygon main network, just leave a comment down below and let me know, and I'm gonna, I'll try and make one of those videos to help everybody out. OK, and the last thing. All right. Just to understand, I'm, I'm not going to go crazy with all this, but right now, Polygon's proof of stake and their plasma is the two main things that's going on right now. And you just have to understand that they're building so much more on there. OK, the um, remember, if Polygon dips, OK, you guys don't panic. OK. You want to pounce panic when we don't panic we pounce and buy the dips okay as an investor remember we don't sell when others are fearful all right you want to make sure that you understand these things okay warren buffett once said be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful all right right now what's happening polygons in a uh, pullback okay realistically it's going down. So this is a time right now where you can go to look at any news article, see what they're printing. And if people are still hitting sell, 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 this is your time to dollar cost average in and look to buy. All right. Because that's how you become a smarter investor. OK. And then if Polygon dips further, don't worry. The best thing you can do is walk away, not hit sell and sell at a loss. OK. Don't be the guy that watches Polygon shoot up 40% in one day, and then that's the time I got to buy. Polygon's at $1.50. Uh, if it goes up too quickly, it's probably going to have a pullback, okay? When it goes up, it will come down. You could see where if you went on to um, 
the main net here. If you look at one day right now, I'll do it right here. So we'll go to home. If you'll see, if you go to the seven day or the let's say the 24 hour, I just did a video yesterday where the 24 hour had, let's see, I can go back here, where EOS was up to like $4.40 and it pulled back 6% and now it's under four dollars so like things like that will always happen if it's going up one day it might come crashing back down the next so don't go and buy when it's at the all-time high like axie infinity right now is sitting at 177 percent that's not the time to buy that wait for the pullback if you think you've done your own research you feel comfortable you like what the um the team is doing you like what the coin stands for and you feel like it is fundamentally a good coin to buy that's the time to get in on it OK, Polygon has been killing it. And I want you to do your own research. And are you confident right now that you can hold and you are not going to put money in that you don't need? So like we said before, before 2025, realistically, 2030 is a good price. It's cooking. It's a great price. But if you're putting in money that you need before then, you're going to um, realistically probably sell and you're not going to sell at the point you're going to get mad at or you want to get it at and it's going to hurt you okay remember twitter right now is arguing over whether the whole cryptocurrency market is a bull market or a bear market what is it doing either way you know crypto is volatile okay no matter what one day you could see 80 percent swings up and then it could go down 80% the next day. And then you think it's done that 80% swing. And then China says they're banning the coin. And then it goes back another 20%. And then what happens? China comes out next day and says it wasn't banning the coin. And then it shoots up 40%. Don't be that guy that sells at the low and buys all the way at the all-time highs, okay? Take your time. Invest early. There's always going to be another play, another coin that comes out with good fundamentals that you will have the opportunity to buy in okay i want you guys to tell me if you if you are comfortable okay let us know if you bought into any polygon okay at all all right and how much how many coins how many uh toshis are you holding okay for me I bought 100 more shares a few days ago when it was at a dollar and three cents. I thought it was going to bounce. I thought it was going to go higher. So I bought some more. OK, so understand that I, w I, I was watching Polygon move up and down, bounce off the dollar support line. And I said to myself, I'm going in. I'm going to get some more men. All right. This is a speculative play. OK, you have to understand that if you want a safe bet, then realistically, don't bet. Just don't invest, all right? That's safe. If you uh, want a safe investment, right? Maybe look into Bitcoin, Ethereum, or stable coins. Not financial advice, but those are some things that you can look into. This is a dip, and realistically, look to buy more. The whales, the media, the banks, the head funds, the head funds, okay? They are putting in, they're putting out more fear, okay? They're putting out FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt so that they can buy the coins cheaper. That's what media does. Media, without saying it, I mean, you can go look at different podcasts on investing and different podcasts on trading, and they'll tell you flat out, okay? Hedge funds own media companies. Media companies put out media, whether it's good or bad or ugly, about different investments, okay? And it happens. If you're in crypto, be ready because head funds are coming this way. Banks are coming this way. Regulations are starting to get passed. All right. You are part of right now the 1% of the world that's in cryptocurrency. If you're watching this video down below, leave a 1% so that I know you watched it all the way through. All right. Don't let FOMO control you, guys. Okay. Don't let FOMO control you. Leave a like. Watch my other videos on Polygon. Okay. Subscribe to stay up to date. It's all love. Thank you for being a part of my journey in cryptocurrency. Until next time, pat out.